Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's, I think it's April 29th, 2019. Sorry about the wind. I'm out here today uh, prepping some curly willow, uh, some Salix, uh, Matsudana, um, corkscrew willow, uh, curly willow, uh, and I can't think of the rest of the names for, for this type of willow. It's a pretty nice, neat, pretty uh, weather tolerant uh, type of willow that doesn't uh, do quite a bit of lateral branching and uh, and become more susceptible to high winds which we experience here and this is one we took three little cuttings from uh, some place where Thea was visiting brought them home we stuck them in around the pond here and we got three beautiful um, bush like trees and my plan is to use these as one of our living fences uh, just to create a sound barrier and a visual barrier, something that's going to require very little maintenance. And this will be on the east side of the property, actually in the woods, which is a very wet spot on the property. And the willows, they absolutely love, uh, love the wet spots. And, uh, and this is kind of an interesting looking willow. It's got the curliness to it and all. Now these ones we can prune any way. We can make them as low, low grade, um, low level bushes that, that really block out uh, ground level like a fence you would put up like a six foot fence. So you could just uh, coppice them uh, or pollard them at a certain height and they will bush out from the cuttings. Willows have lots of natural uh, rooting hormones. So we can actually uh, be much more aggressive with the size of the cuttings that we're, that we're taking. In the back of Pepe there, I'm gradually filling it up because this afternoon, my plan is to go into the woods, even though the area that I'm going to be uh, putting the living fence is, the living fence in is completely undulating. The ground is hasn't been uh, prepped at all. However, it's in a forest area uh, where amongst a lot of d dead and dying trees and there's pooling of water in different areas as well. And my plan is just to go ahead and lay a string along the fence line and then uh, plant these about a foot in on our side of the fence line. And then gradually, uh, as they start to grow, prune them to create the most desirable sound and visual barrier that, that we desire. I think this is gonna work very well. They, they seem to root extremely easily. They got lots of uh, rooting hormones in them that help them to do that, the auxins. And that's pretty exciting. So I don't have to follow the rules of hardwood cuttings like I do with, you know, cutting just below the node where the where the leaves come out or the where the next branch is going to come out. Uh, I don't have to do that, and I don't have to just have two nodes below the ground and only a couple nodes above the ground. These are really you can actually take a a, a willow that's a, approximately this size in diameter, you know, the size of a fence post drill a hole in the ground, stick it in the ground, and it's probably gonna start growing. Uh, so uh, there's a good chance of that. I'm actually taking a couple of the larger uh, poles here from this, and I may stick them in the ground just to see how well that does work. So that's what I'm up to today is harvesting some of these, and you'll see all different sizes. These are much larger than the hardwood cuttings you see me take and put into the western garden plot, the nursery area. So these are quite large. This is approximately one inch, about, about two centimeters in diameter. This one's about one centimeter in diameter. But we're a meter or two meters in length. And I've trimmed off as many of the branches as possible. And each one of the little uh, nodes down here are going to shoot out roots, and, and they happen pretty quickly. Uh, my plan is to take uh, the larger ones, plant them out, uh, try to distribute them evenly across the property line, then take a whole bunch of the small ones and stick them in between, and uh, just stick them in the ground and uh, see what we get. So that's what we're planning on doing. Here we go.
Okay, I got, I think I've got enough of the cuttings here to uh, get a, a living fence started. And uh, I know I've got over a hundred, I'm not sure how many uh, for certain. I really wanted to get a, quite a few of the larger ones to see how that would work. And, uh, and I'm pretty confident we'll probably have at least a 50% success rate with sticking these in the ground. I am using some spray because of the darn punkies, the black flies that are out this time of year. And uh, I did uh, put aside some of the small, the larger uh, cuttings that are probably between four and nine feet long and between three inches in diameter up to maybe four or five inches in diameter. And I may just take a bumblebee and make a couple pokes in the in the ground there, stick these in and see if they do take off. Uh, people have told me how they've taken really good size uh, willow logs, stuck them in the ground to use them as fence posts, and they've just grown up into be trees and all. So I haven't experienced that yet, but I have experienced uh, quite a few of these things. If they fall over, man, they'll just shoot up new trees with a limb falling over as well. So I know it's going to rain this afternoon and it get pretty stormy. And uh, if, if it's sunny after the, our doctor's appointment, I'll film uh, plant putting these in the ground as well. So here we go.